Hey everybody, Batmerk here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rumble number 17. This one is a crossover and it's awesome. And it's actually got um, the Headlopper from Headlopper. And it's um, it's got Rathrak from Rumble. You know, and it's a story where they're doing some barbarian shit, you know. It's not in the uh, modern times. And um, Andrew McLean draws part of it too. So you actually have the Headlopper artist drawing the crossover or part of it. And it's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Right here, uh, it's it's gonna it's called uh, Belly of Hell, and there's actually uh, three three stories in here, um, yeah, and they basically uh, you know, Headlopper gets uh, eaten up, he falls into the belly of the beast, <laughs> um, and he meets Rathrock, and they're in there, and they're you know they become buddies, and they got a lot in common, you know they both like kicking monster ass, and they're both barbarians. It's like a match made in heaven. You could read like a hundred more of these books. Um, and there they go, man. They're fighting orcs and trolls and monsters inside the belly of a bigger monster. And, uh, that right there is Agatha. That's the, uh, head that, um, Headlopper carries around. She has, like, a lot of magical powers, and she's basically like a, uh, a weapon of mass destruction for, for barbaric times. Really cool. Cool stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Headlopper, but if you're not, it's like a cross between Conan the Barbarian meets Mike Mignola or Hellboy. It's like a cross between Hellboy and Conan the Barbarian. And the, the, the art style is really fun, and it's very kinetic. And the, the way the guy orchestrates his uh, panels when you read it, it, it takes a minute to get used to, but once you get into it, you're like, oh, okay, I see what this guy's doing. You know, I, I see how he flows. He puts these, like, arrows in here and uh, kind of takes you to the, the panels. But... uh he really shows off a lot. He really shines in his own book too. Like I, I, I can't really. This this one's it's awesome. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't really give a. It doesn't really um, do Headlopper justice. But look at that. Slicing. And dicing. Yeah, you, you definitely got to check out the Headlopper books. I'm gonna have to do some reviews on those. It's something it's something fresh. He basically it's a quarterly adventure comic. It comes out every uh, every few months. It's like seven bucks, and there's like. Dude, there's like 50 pages of story, and it's all fun. You know, I usually get that, crack open a good beer, you know, right before a barbecue, read some Headlopper. And the the, the guy, McLean, that created it, he's got his own world, you know. It's it's really it's really cool. Um, yeah, let's get some more in here. Yeah, so it looks like they split up inside the beast. Back to the story. This right here is the, uh, the second story. Now, this is uh, drawn by James Herron. He's a really cool artist too. One of one of my favorites. He started the Rumble uh, comic with uh, uh, John Acuity, I believe his name is, um, a few years back. And basically, if you guys aren't familiar with Rumble, it's um, basically this scarecrow that has this barbarian warrior god, this guy right here, Rathrak, trapped in him in modern times. So he's going around the city and he's fighting these these demons and monsters from from a, 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 a era that was long past. And so they're they're reincarnated into these other humans are disguised as humans and he's you know it's a scarecrow warrior god fighting all these crazy monsters but sometimes there's flashbacks which i really like because it reminds me of the max a little bit um where they go back to the era when he was around and he was you know basically like a barbarian god slaying monsters the, the way you see him here and yeah it kind of reminds me of the max when he went back to pangea um he's not really homeless but he uh he's you know he's definitely a scarecrow um, but it's just, it's, it's, it's a really cool book. You know, you always have something new and fresh to look, look forward to. Uh, right now it's being illustrated by David Rubin. Um, and it's, that's a really cool book too. And they always have like some nice fan art in the back. So definitely, I know I'm getting off topic, but definitely check out, uh, both these books and just look at, look at the art, man. So cool. Seeing other people draw these, these characters sometimes. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to get, I don't want to show too much though guys. Cause yeah, I'm going to have to show that, though. Look at that. Look at that. That right there, that's the money shot. You got Wrath Rack, the Rumble. And then you got the Headlopper, Norgal, taking out, taking out monsters right there. Basically, uh, for this story right here, this short, they, um, you know, they uh, defeat the monster and they, they get out and, I'm sorry, spoilers, <laughs> And uh, there, there's another story in the back too, so I would I would definitely recommend this book, everybody. If you if you like you know Conan the Barbarian, you like Hellboy, um, you like uh, kind of like brooding, like like urban, like kind of dark uh, 
book, uh, books kind of like, I don't know, they, they said it was like a Fincher story, kind of like Seven, like a Fincher feel to it. Someone was saying that in a review of, of Rumble a long time ago, but it's kind of dark, like, you know, cityscapes with the, you know, with, with, with the cool characters and, and monsters and stuff, then you'll like, you'll like Rumble too. So you'll get a little bit of that. And then Headlopper, again, yeah, Conan and, and, and Hellboy, you're going you're gonna to love it too. So yeah, I definitely recommend this, folks. Rumble, um, number 17, I give it two horns up. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, we have new content here on Metal Movies and Brewskies. Have a good night, folks.